Hi everyone, my name is Dane. I'm going to be doing a quick overview of the features of the Radial Engineering XAMP. Taking a look from the front, we can see we have graphics indicating the functions on the sides of the unit. The input on the Radial XAMP is a balanced line level female XLR. This is typically fed from the output of the recording device or mixing console. A ground lift switch disconnects pin 1 ground at the XLR input. Depressing this switch assumes you will be providing a ground path via the OUT1 to your amplifier. Lifting the ground often helps reduce hum or buzz caused by so-called ground loops. This cable clamp is used to secure the power supply cable and prevent accidental power disconnection. And this is where you plug in your power supply. The power LED indicator will light up immediately with a green color as soon as the power supply is plugged in and turned on. The clipping indicator ensures the signal from the mixer or recorder does not overload the X amp. A clip indicator on the front of the panel provides clear viewing. If this LED illuminates, reduce the signal level. The level control output sets the volume level going to the guitar amplifier. This potentiometer is recessed to prevent accidental change and is adjusted using a guitar pick or flat-headed screwdriver. The direct out connects to a guitar amp. This is a transformerless direct coupled output and is used to connect to your primary guitar amplifier. This provides the primary ground path for the X amp. The polarity 180 degrees switch flips the polarity of the output to allow two amplifiers to play in phase. This is our isolated out 2, which connects to the second amplifier. The transformer isolation allows use of two amps without introducing hum and buzz caused by ground loops. So plugging in two amplifiers at the same time can give you a lot of versatility in your recording, but it's totally optional. This is the ground lift out 2, located on the side of the unit. This recessed switch gives you the option to bypass the transformer isolation and convert the out 2 into a direct and grounded output. It is a factory set to lifted to provide a safe and noise-free connection to amplifiers. Okay, that was just a quick rundown of the Radial Engineering X Amp. I just wanted to give you guys a quick idea of what features and hardware are on the unit itself and what they do. And um, if you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'll see if I can get back to you. Catch you guys next time.